Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Holt. The theme of this tutorial focuses on 3D Slicer and using ROIs within the volume rendering module. This will be brief, but I think you will enjoy the benefits of using ROIs. ROI stands for Region of Interest and is visualized as a six-sided cube with color-coded spheres. Within the module window of the volume rendering module, you can see that there are several options. The input drop-down menu here allows you to select or create new ROIs and change or rename the current volume properties. The display drop-down menu right here allows you to cycle through predefined sets of functions tuned for a combination of modalities and organs and make adjustments to the shift slider to better visualize your volume rendering. Now, let's say you want to crop your volume rendering and focus only on the left lung. That is easily done by enabling your crop right here and toggling the visibility of the display of your ROI. As you can see, we have our white box that appears around our volume, and we can visualize that within the 3D view and within our 2D view. And you can see that there are these color-coded spheres uh, within all of our views. So currently we have our lungs ROI active and we want to create an ROI that helps us focus on the left lung. We can do that by creating a new ROI within the inputs drop-down menu and the ROI drop-down menu here. So I'm going to first I'm going to disable our lungs ROI because it will display multiple ROIs if you don't have them all turned off. So I will click here first and I will select create new annotation ROI. And then if I would like to name this, I click on it again and rename this. I want to call this our left lung medial view and select OK. And you'll notice that you have, it, it just appears as really small Kind of above our volume. So the first thing we want to do is click fit to volume and now we can see our entire lung. But we want to focus on our left lung. So I think the best way to approach this is by using our 2D views and looking at our 3D view and going ahead and adjusting our sliders here. I am right now I'm in our red window axial view and I'm just pulling over this slider. And if I want to visualize the medial aspect of our left lung, I can go and click on the right view here. And um, in order to bring up this window within our 3D view, you just click on this little push pin. And if you click on the push pin, this window will stay open. And if I right click and drag, I will zoom out. So I just want to bring that back a little bit. And then I can go back over to our axial view in the red window and I can slide over these little dots. And I just want to get a little closer to only seeing that left lung. And that might be as close as we get. We can now save out our ROI, the left lung medial view ROI, by going up to the top save menu and clicking um, save. And you'll notice you have this left lung medial view annotation list. Um, if we wanna go ahead and save that, we can change the directory for selected files. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop. So I'll click here, I can go to my desktop, can pick my lungs folder, and select choose, and then click save. And that's it. Thanks again for watching another 3D Slicer tutorial.